Okay, so now that we talked about the quotient rule, um, we're ready to talk about the derivative of the tangent function, um, and also the other uh, three trig functions we haven't talked about yet, uh, secant, cosecant, and cotangent, but those will be in separate videos. Um, so this is just going to be tangent here. So uh, d dx of tangent of x, zoom in on that now, uh, d dx of tangent of x equals secant squared of x. All right, so that's, uh, that's kind of interesting, that's a little bit strange. Kind of, sort of. But uh, let's see where that comes from. So we know that uh, tangent of x equals sine of x divided by cosine of x, right? Um, so that's uh, one of the first things you learn in trig um, after you start talking about the trig functions, I guess. Uh, but anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, prove this then. And it actually won't be that bad. It's pretty much just going to be a quotient rule directly. So d dx of tangent of x equals d dx of sine of x over cosine of x. All right, so quotient rule tells us that's going to be a uh, bottom times the derivative of the top. Okay, so bottom is cosine x, deriv uh, top is sine of x, so the derivative of the top is cosine of x. Um, and then we have minus uh, the top, which is just sine of x, times the derivative of the bottom. Okay, bottom is cosine x, derivative of cosine is negative sine. Uh, all over the bottom squared. All right, so uh, if you take cosine of squared, that's just cosine squared of x. Okay, so that's what we have here. Um, now let's go ahead and simplify this. So this is going to equal uh, cosine times cosine is cosine squared minus sine of x times negative sine of x, so these two minuses combine to become a plus, and uh, we have sine of x times sine of x, so plus sine squared of x. Uh, and then that's being divided by cosine squared of x. Okay, so remember uh, the Pythagorean identity, um, cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x is always equal to 1, right? So that's uh, one of the most important uh, identities in trig, and maybe in uh, math in general. But anyway, uh, so cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x equals 1. Uh, and we still just have cosine squared on the bottom. But now we're actually pretty much done, because uh, remember, uh, off to the side here, secant x equals 1 over cosine of x, right? So uh, secant squared of x is 1 over cosine squared of x. So here's 1 over cosine squared of x. So that just uh, equals secant squared of x. All right, and uh, that's the proof. Um, of this derivative formula here. ddx of tangent of x equals secant squared of x.